Okay, you can start. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Mary Walter with my husband Jim and daughter Becky. Some know us as the Walter Alter Guild team, um, although we haven't had to do much this year so far. Jim and I are retired, Jim from McNeil with a PhD in pharmaceutics research, and me as a registered nurse and stay-at-home mom. Becky works on the front line at CHOP in the NICU. We would like to share with you how our faith affects our lives. My faith statement is one of gratitude and hope. I've never thought of God as a vengeful God. God is with us to provide guidance for our actions. For this, I am grateful. I believe the Bible assists with this, but not in a literal sense. For me, it's open to interpretation, for it was written in a different time. I am grateful for my family and for my 43 years with my husband. In these days of the COVID-19 pandemic, I count each day that we are still healthy and together as a blessing. So many have lost so much. Jim's cancer, which is Stably unstable is always on my mind. I pray every night for him to be cured, but that God's will be done. I just hope that will is for him to be healed. I also believe there is a reason for everything. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 1 says, For I know the plans I have for you. Now, sometimes we may find the reason for these plans, and other times we are left to shake our heads, cry, which I do a lot, and wonder. I have unending faith in God's promise for our future. I see it in the eyes of our children, Tim and Becky, and Alex and Liz, and our 10-month-old granddaughter, McKenna. I believe we should not fear God and be scared into heaven. We should show kindness, love, and patience. If we fail, which I often do, I ask for forgiveness and try again. God is not vengeful. Timothy chapter 1 verse 7, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. 2020 really has been a strange year so far, but it hasn't changed my faith much at all. I don't believe in a God who punishes people. I worship a God of love. I don't believe that God causes bad things to happen. Chaos is inevitable and life with all of its ups and downs is inherently unpredictable. <laughs> To me, God feels like a parent. Mm -hmm. God celebrates with us when things go well, forgives us when we mess up and spray paint the car. <laughs> they love us no matter what, and they hold us when things fall apart. In really hard times, like the past few months, when it feels like the world is crumbling in front of me, I feel God holding me, stroking my hair, telling me that it won't always be like this. Yes, it will. <laughs> Through the adversities in my life, I've always felt that God was with me, and I was never alone. God was with me spiritually through faith and work through the hands of others to care for and heal me. <laughs> <laughs> I believe we are here through faith to be the physical hands of God, uh, to do His will and help others. How do you think um, your faith has affected, or your illness has affected your faith? Uh, well, everybody dies. I just know what's going to get me. And, uh, they let me know that I should take Social Security early. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Becky, how do you feel? Like, you always want to take the sickest babies in the NICU, and you are known to be very good with dealing with difficult parents who are going through just horrible times with their infant children. How has your faith affected that? Um. I think I kind of look at it the way Pastor Anderson mentioned in his sermon this Sunday. Um, it's the earth was made of darkness, so in the dark, or before earth, there was darkness. So in the darkest times, I think there's the greatest room to see God and see everything that God can do. How do you feel like everything that you've been through, like blindness and heart attacks? And <laughs> well, life. I I've been okay. through six heart attacks. I've been through the death of my parents, Jim's parents, grandparents. I've been through struggles with the family. I've been through Jim's illness. And the hardest time was when I was blind. It was, I felt, although everybody was around me and trying to help me, I, I just prayed to God, you know, get me through this or, or I don't know what. I, I just can't 
deal with this. So I did pray a lot and um, I came out of it and it was darkness and now I see again. So um, even though there's darkness, there's always light that will come. Because it won't always be like this. Bye.